Stay tuned throughout this whole entire video to learn how to customize your Xbox Series X controller and even how to hydro dip it and spray paint it. So stay tuned. If you guys are new, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's jump right into this tutorial. All right, so what you'll need for this tutorial, you'll need any spray paint of your choosing. So I would get a two-in-one um, white spray paint with the primer. So that's what I got. And then you also got to get a clear coat and then just get whatever color spray paint you guys want. And then for the hydro dipping part, you'll need a bucket of some sort. You probably just have like a hardware bucket laying around your house that you can use. And then all controller of your choosing of any. I got three of them right here. I'm probably just gonna do one in this tutorial. And then sandpaper, which is essential. And then you need this special Torx bit. It's called like a TX or something. I don't, I forget what it's called, but I'll, I will link it in the description down below if you guys are interested right into taking apart the Xbox controller. This is fairly easy. There is only five screws on this whole entire controller. Just stay tuned and watch the whole entire video. Alright, so once you guys got all the five screws out, what you do is you just pull this right off and it comes right off the top part. And there you go, you got the whole entire controller exposed. Alright, I had to do this one off camera because it's kind of hard to get out. I kind of just finessed it out. But yeah, and what you guys could do is just take out this little part right here, this little sticker. You guys can do that. But my suggestion is make sure that you guys put all your bolts off to the side in like a little plastic baggie and just keep everything organized. So right now we are just sanding down the Xbox controller. It's fairly easy. This is what it should end up looking like. It should end up looking like a little bit of rough surface on it. If I were you guys, I would wipe it off with like a cloth or something. That's what I ended up doing. Sorry that my hair kind of looks all weird. I look so bad right now on camera, but I just got back from the gym. And that's kind of why I look like that. All right. Now we are moving on to the primer. Or if you guys just have um, white spray paint, I would just do that. We are just going to be doing, I think, just one coat of primer because I do not want to make this controller thick. <laughs> So there you guys have it. That is one coat of primer. So I would suggest doing one coat of primer very light. I kind of did one a little bit heavy, but it's all right. It kind of needed it because all of the um, parts of the controller were all different colors. So it had to go a little bit thicker so then everything would line up in the end result. So yeah, I would let the primer sit for about 20 minutes so i'll catch you guys back in 20 minutes one eternity later i'll be filling up the bucket that you're gonna be hydro dipping in i would suggest any bucket that you don't really care about because it's gonna get ruined at the end of the day so let's just fill this uh bucket up and i would suggest filling up with room temperature not too hot not too cold if anything a little bit more hot because so then the paint will stick better and I put on the wrong freaking thing. So, room temperature, I think that'll be fine. So. Oh yeah, going up the bucket. All right, so guys, I waited 20 minutes, so as you guys should have waited 20 minutes. So this is what we got going right now. So it's completely dried. So I'm gonna give all right, so I'm gonna give you guys the rundown on how I set up everything for my hydro dipping. So let's go. Just is that you already filled up your water, which is good. And then I would have some latex gloves. I just have these super, uh, like, I guess, kitchen ones, super long, because it's kind of good so that you don't get on your forearm or anything with the paint. And then set up all of your paints right there. And then, and then over here is where you're gonna put all the hydro dipped controllers, so then it just makes everything else easy. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I dropped it in there, but holy crap, that's how it looks. Jesus, all right. Just 
finish up cleaning up my whole entire garage, getting all the paint all off of me. Like my skin is pretty raw. My skin just feels super weird right now. But that's besides the point. I cleaned up, I did everything. Make sure when you guys are spray painting, make sure that you're not in a closed uh, spot. Make sure that you're outside or that you have like an opening that air can flow in through. I took off my shirt because it. I just felt super itchy and everything. But yeah. But this is how the controllers turned out. As you guys can tell, I did two of these because I don't know which one is better. I just wanted to do two of them because I thought it would be pretty interesting for the video to have multiple. But I don't know. Leave in the comments down below. Which one do you guys think is better? This one's A. And then this one's B. So leave in the comments down below. Which one do you guys like the most? So this is how I set everything up. I don't even know how I got this to stay, but that's, that's just chilling like that. I'm just going to let it just be like that. You guys probably have noticed that I didn't mask anything off. If you guys like know somewhat what you're doing or if you clicked on other videos, some people might have masked it off. I just didn't personally do it because I think that it's a better fitment if, if it's just not even masked off. And it's also easier in time and everything. So yeah, that's why I didn't do that. It's the morning time right now. And right now we got to go and put on the clear coat. So I'll show you guys just how to do it. It's very easy. Um, I already actually put on two clear coats already because it's just clear coat, whatever, but I'll show you guys how to do it. Very light at the beginning, but I'm gonna put mine a little bit more heavier because I already have two coats on it, so this is gonna be the last one, so let's just get right into it. All right, so there you guys have it. That's the last and final third coat. I kinda messed this one up a little bit. If you can tell, it's really, really like dry and runny right there, but I mean shiny and runny, but that's all right. So I don't really care about it too much, but yeah. For the first two coats, I would suggest doing 20 minute intervals of that. So do the first one really light, the second one decent, but like make sure you cover everything. And then the third coat go a little bit more heavier than I would suggest leaving it for almost 24 hours of it or wait, seven to five hours. So just Keep on checking up on it, make sure that it's dry and everything. I just came back from the gym, and now we gotta assemble this thing. It's finally dry. Oh yeah, baby. So you guys, the controller is finally done and it actually works. See? It's on, if you couldn't hear vibrating. All right, I had to switch over to another lens, but yeah, let's cue the montage, let's go. Alright, so you guys, that's me to end the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, the controller turned out really well, better than all the ones I've ever done. But yeah, it's basically just a two day process of how you can even hydro dip it or even spray paint it, whatever you want to do. But yeah, that's a how to. But if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and thank you guys for the last video. It's blowing up right now, so thank you. And uh, yeah, let's try to hit a thousand subscribers. Ben Evan, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.